Good morning! It looks like another beautiful day in Spain. And Joe is doing modeling for you today on the balcony. And we have one of my favorite songs of all time. Guitar solo. We are on the search for coffee and for breakfast. One thing I've noticed since we've been in Madrid, we've barely eaten anything, have we? Like, Food-wise, we've been so, so, so slack. So today, we're going back to a square we went last night for dinner, but we're gonna try and find our way there in the hope that we can find a proper breakfast. Yeah. What's up, guys? We're back for day number two, and to be honest, it's so, so rammed. We're gonna go quick watch an event, and we're coming back for half past 12, because Zach's doing a big meetup, so we're gonna come catch him there. Found everyone. Oh, this is a long range one. Morning all, how are we? So we've just come out to the X Endurance stand because Craig is doing a big meetup and there's loads of people. It's epic just to see how many people watch YouTube, want to hang out. John's in there mingling. It's like, honestly, it's just so cool. Thank you guys. How was the meetup? Absolutely yeah, insane. So good. And who's so shouting good. over there? Sorry, Jazz, cut you off. <laughs> come back, come back. So many people. It was awesome. Absolutely it did look awesome. very, very awesome. I've got some time lapses to give you, actually. It's absolutely mind blowing. The support so is so crazy. How was the meetup, John? It was good. It's good, fun. you enjoyed it? Yep. And people were saying that you, you looked taller in person? Yeah, they did. Yesterday, people were saying I looked shorter. Today, I looked taller. So maybe I'm just like right in the middle. It must be that European sun. Yeah, it's making me golden brown now. You were the star attraction. Standard. <laughs> Happens everywhere I go, bro. I'm the most excited I've been since I've been in Madrid. I found Zach's one body hair. Where's it gone, Zach? There. Hang on. Adam, he's got his mate there as well. Uh, what should we call him? Adam, pull it. What should we call him? Get it out. Clancy. I got it. Yeah, you got it. Let's christen it. There you go, ladies. There you go. <laughs> on eBay. Throw it up in the air. <laughs> Day two at regionals done, it's been amazing. We'll see you back at the house. Morning John's having a good, good stretch. Yes sir. Here we have a curious demonstration. The male brushes his teeth, while the female does her hair. <laughs> yes Santiago. Oh hello. <laughs> I was like, can't see, can't see, <laughs> there's the light. Good morning guys, so we are here last day of the CrossFit Meridian Regionals. Oh, the fluffy bomb bomb. <laughs> that's not a fluffy bomb, that's a croissant. Good morning John, how are you? Good I thought you were going to give me a kiss, can I have a kiss? I was. No, no, yeah, this is, no, 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 we'll do the side kiss. Oh, that was gorgeous, that was amazing. So today is the last day of the CrossFit Meridian Regionals. I am taking over the Reebok UK Instagram story today. So I'm gonna try and get as much content as I can, but that I've got to do that too, so I've got lots to do today. But something very amazing is happening between one and two, which you guys are not gonna to want to miss. I promise you, it's gonna be epic. Oh, fluffy bomb bomb. The fluffy bomb bomb, what is it? There is no translation for it. <laughs> Come, big man. Oh. Believe in you, Peter. Oh. Oh. Peter! Peter! Yeah! There you are. Mike Jock. Yeah. Are you excited today? Team takeover. Oh. Oh. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Go ahead, Chad. Meow. <laughs> Everyone's getting rid of that. Zach, tell people what's the fluky bubble. It's a donut in Spanish. Well, it's what Lidl calls it. Yeah, it's not, it's not a Spanish donut, is it? Is that a little translation? Yeah, chocolate donut. What, floopy bonbon? Floopy bonbon. So chocolate in Spanish is floopy. <laughs> or is it bonbon? I think it's. I think that's the brand. Basically, I'm floopy today. Bon -bon. I'm just calling everything the floopy bonbon. So like, Zach, where's my floopy bonbon? Oh, Zach, I really need a floopy bonbon. Floopy bonbon. <laughs> no rep. No rep. No rep. <laughs> I hate you all. <laughs> For those of you that might be wondering why Craig was just doing press-ups on the floor, well last night we were really slow to get out of the house and everyone was hungry, so John decided to say, right the floor's lava, so everyone had to get out of the room. Well that kind of progressed a little bit as we went out, the floor became lava everywhere and you basically had to get your feet off the ground. So jump on a lamppost, jump, whatever you're going to do, and whoever's last has to do a forfeit. Um, and last night I had to do air squats and everyone else had to do press-ups. So as I told you, there was going to be a little surprise today that is about to happen we're about to go and meet Julie Fouché and Dan Bailey if you don't know who they are they are two of the most inspirational and amazing CrossFit athletes ever and they're both awesome Julie had a massive injury basically she pretty much snapped her Achilles um, and obviously with my injury and I know so many of you guys have been injured I really want to see what her outtake is um, on all her outlook on all that is and I also want to go in with a massive quick fire round and just learn more about them let's go and have some fun it smells so clean and fresh so fresh so much room for activities <laughs> Don't worry, you're safe. Ain't hey, nobody don't love me. I'm just. Do you know what, guys? Is it really? Can I tell you something really? Can I tell you something really important? That the floor's made of lava. What? <laughs> 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 I do have freaking time. I just had to make sure that that wasn't going to collapse when I sat on it. Dan's going to walk in and be like, look at that cock. <laughs> we can only live in hope. Again, no rep. No rep. No rep. No rep. No rep. <laughs> to an audience who are maybe newer to CrossFit or wanting to try it, what would you say makes it so awesome? The community. Yeah. <laughs> it's an inside joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but really, the community. I think that it's all about um, being able to connect with other people and once you start doing CrossFit and you experience that, it becomes your friends and your family and people that you spend time with even outside the gym. Awesome. Dan? I would say the same thing, the community, um, the aspect of it of just working out in a group and kind of going through everything together and everybody's trying to lift each other up and pursue you know, health and well, wellness and fitness. I think that's just probably the best part of it. Awesome. If you could give your younger self one bit of advice, what would it be? Watch more movies. Watch more movies. <laughs> more movie quotes. <laughs> Don't buy the boat. Don't buy the boat. I love the actually, boat. Yes, actually, I don't know. You, like, you should buy the boat. Buy a bigger boat. <laughs> <laughs> buy a bigger boat. This one is more directed to you, Julie. I've recently been injured, um, and on my kind of channel, I've followed like a, a kind of theme of being injured, and I've been amazed at how people have responded to it, and through whatever mine was snowboarding, but so many people are injured. Um, so, with your injury, how did that change your relationship with fitness for a while, or did it change it at all? Sure. It it changes just because it looks different, what you can do in the gym, what you're able to do. But I think that's the amazing thing about CrossFit is that it's infinitely scalable. And so even though maybe you can't do the movements the same way, you can still do something and still use your body and stay healthy. And um, it definitely can be frustrating at times if you're not able to do certain things that you used to be able to do or it takes a while to be able to build back up to that as you're recovering. But um, I think it's just a, a challenge that you go through and you usually come out stronger in the end. Are you ready? Ready. ready. Right, let's go. Snapped. Clean. Flying. Flying. <gasps> I was fast. Oh. <laughs> the Big Lebowski. Brownie and ice cream. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> you too. Spirit of the Games Award. Coming back in 2014 after taking a year off yeah. and being on the podium, but I still think there's something so special about after my Achilles injury and just that yeah, feeling yeah. of the community mm. that was unbelievable. Fran. Diane. Larry Bird. I'm going to say Ellie Raisman. Awesome. <laughs> Spain. Madrid. Madrid. Hey. <laughs> Deadlift. Overhead squat. Last one. This is a big one. Oh, come on. <laughs> 
I gotta go with Frowning. Yeah, we, I'm, I know Rich better, so I'm saying Rich. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, thank you so much, guys. <laughs>